Now, uh, many apps on our phones use a location, such as uh, maps, provide us with directions, the fitness trackers following our running routes, and even the weather apps tell us the forecast. But how can you keep yourself safe when sharing your whereabouts with tracking apps and devices? Well, Jenny Radcliffe is here with all her brilliant advice. Thank Morning, goodness Jenny. for you. Good to see you. So, when we talk about tracking apps, what, what exactly are we meaning here? Well, you know, most apps. So many apps have the ability to track your location without you even really realising it. When yeah. we sign up to download those apps and we take that terms and conditions box, which sometimes it's like 72 pages on a mobile phone, nobody's yeah. reading it, we take it and that gives them access to your location and to lots of other things. To your actual location? To your location. But those would be location-based apps or could No, they... not necessarily. I mean, there's, you know, we are so dependent on our phones. There's so much information on them. And I just made a list. I just looked at a couple of random apps and looked at the sort of things that when we agree to download them, they give us access to. So we've got location, which we're going to be talking more about. But how about accessing your contacts, uh, all your contacts, sending and receiving messages to those, uh, also reading your MMS, what? Permission to call your phone numbers, to ch to reroute your calls, your phone call logs, camera. I mean, it goes on Are and on. Are you kidding me? No, and that's not just... That was an app which was an astrology app. So that had nothing to do with your location. Oh, I'm in a my world of pain. God. <laughs> oh, God. I, mean, I, I just sort of agreed to terms and conditions, and I know... But I haven't got the time Even to scroll if you do either. read it, it's not full legal language, right? right? And you just so if you want the app, you're going to say yes. Yeah, but so this feels like a bigger issue. This feels like we need to look into issue. all of those things. But for now, we're just talking about the location yeah. and the issue with that. So what is wrong with an app, for example, or a company knowing your location? So there's three main things. The first thing is marketing, essentially. So that data that they collect on you, uh, that the app collects, is then sold on and that's used for marketing. So, you know, on the one hand, you see the nearest restaurants or where the cabs are or something yeah. if you're in a different city, but it also curates what we call your information environment. That means what you see mm -hmm. is chosen for you by the people who bought the data. Um, so marketing is one thing. Some people find that a nuisance, other people think it's an invasion of privacy. How can you get around that? So we're going to talk about getting around it later, but mostly it's to do with phone hygiene, which, which we'll get to. Um, but the second big problem with that is we are trusting everyone who we give that information to to keep that safe. Mm -hmm. And, of course, this is huge target for hackers and for criminals because all that data, all those things, there's, there's opportunities for blackmail, there's yeah. opportunities for identity theft. Um, and finally, by sharing your location, if someone can see it uh, on an app, are. then we know that that's not necessarily a good thing. Or they know where you aren't. If it means you're not at home, means yeah. your house is empty. Yeah. So, or, or where your device is. Yeah. Yes. What about find yeah. my friends? Like, what, what's the, what would be the, the problem with that? Because a lot of people have the kind of find my friends app, similar apps for just check on their kids, their loved ones and so forth. Yeah, and I mean, it's useful for that, right? If you're out on your own and you want to get back, you might want to share with, you know, your partner or your family where you are just to keep you safe for the kids. But Which sounds sensible. Yeah. You're thinking it I'm doing the sensible. right yeah. thing here in terms of looking after myself. Yeah, and it's useful. These things are made to be useful, but the thing is, of course, that it does track you as well. It does see you as well, necessarily. So just use it when you need to. We don't need to use that all the time. So don't just have it constantly on? No. Um, another thing you say about not having constantly on is Bluetooth. Why should you switch that off? So, uh, yeah, Bluetooth's quite an older technology with some radio waves, and it's not really as secure, um, necessarily. And what Bluetooth does is it looks for all the devices in your immediate vicinity mm -hmm. and looks to pair with them. If you pair with Bluetooth or if you pair with the Wi-Fi, that stays as an open connection. So basically, it's very simple software then to pair um, a paired device and then you open that connection to the phone plus we can just send spam 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 texts and emails and calls to that phone and the likelihood of you clicking on it and then giving access to your device is higher so bluetooth only really used in an absolute if kind of so if you're situation. airdropping or if you're, it's different for the, so for the headphones and things that, mm. that, that's, that's one thing because you pair with that and there's a pin right mm -hmm. but make sure it's not an easy to guess pin Right, like one, two, three, four, or whatever. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, that's that's not too bad. But just open all the time. Anyone else with a with a device can. Okay. Can you also recommend deleting uh, your journeys on car sat navs. Yeah, this is this is a sort of security paranoia one, but it's getting into the mindset. If you've got those routes on a car that you hire, uh, or if your car gets stolen, now they know all your. Uh, patterns and all your addresses. So just as, again, I've taught you all the time about security hygiene, just keep on top of it. All right, well, let's go and do a few more of those things because your advice when it comes to using traf uh, traffic, 
uh, tracking even apps safely. So always delete your apps that you don't use. Yeah, we get to this, don't we, every yeah. time. If you don't use an app, delete it. If you do use an app, only have those location services and those um, tracking things on the app when you're using it. So only when in use. Well, so you normally get that option, don't you? When you you get the option on your phone. Yeah. So the, so the, the option settings. you should take there, the safety, the, sa the most safe one is what? Is yes, while I'm using the app. If we rely on an app, um, you know, for food delivery or something else, then fine, but only when you're using it. So this is inside, uh, I think this would be uh, an iPhone, but it's equivalent in all, all yeah. brands. And just never, see, so she says, when can this use my location? When using the app? Or sometimes never, like there are games and things that we download as apps. They, don't, they don't need, need to, to know, know your location. But if you go into, the, into settings on phones and into privacy and security, you'll see safety checks. And that will list all those apps individually. Go into the apps and look at what it's got access to. Why does a game app that I use just for passing time on a plane need access to my camera sure. and my microphone? I just assumed Switch if it asks off. you, because it, it needs that in order to work. I don't know if that sounds like a, such no, a stupid No, I think it's an easy thing not. to These things are confusing and people don't understand it, but basically, you don't, if you don't need to have it on, Switch it off. Um, another big one um, is fitness apps, because I think in lockdown, people were sharing an awful lot about their sort yeah. of fitness very routines. And actually, this is very serious, because domestic abuse charity Refuge mm. has said that trackers are being used as a powerful tool for control when a relationship is potentially ending or has ended. Montana Brown, who was the Love Island contestant, had her own experience of this, where she found an air tag in her luggage when she went to Los Angeles. Yeah. I mean, Terrifying. there's two things. On uh, any app where you show your uh, identity, and a routine is dangerous, right? Because obviously we can see where that person might be and possibly interrupt that. And if you're in danger of someone meaning you harm, um, that's something that you really want to minimise. So what we do is we say not exact locations. And really, you know, we don't need to put our full identity and photographs and everything on those apps because that's kind of open. So use the privacy settings in the app. Yeah. In terms of the uh, tracking devices like Montana Brown found, there are lots of different brands of those. And the fear is that that's slipped onto someone's person or hidden on someone's car. Mm. And then the person who's bought that device, and there are lots of different brands out there, can look on the phone and track that person. Where they're going and what they're and that's is there invaluable app those you know we've had our luggage yeah. uh, who hasn't had lost luggage and then actually you know managed, to find, managed to find it because of it but obviously anything that we use uh, for good reasons can also be exploited for bad reasons and can right? you tell if you've got I mean, is there any way of scanning to see if you've got a tracker so in your some of the if you've got a smartphone that can sometimes detect it and some of the leading brands have the phone have them um send out a beep but of course you do have to have a phone in order to right, and you do have to be able to find it. So basically, well. what's the, what the main take home for phone hygiene? Do you think it's, it's just update the apps, take off what you don't use, and just regularly check for anything that's coming up as being on your network. That's amazing. Thanks, Thank you. Thank Great. you. Good to see you. We were sort of coming and a bit scared, and by the end of it, I'll I know. Oh, she's done it. I know, <laughs> but I know what my afternoon's going to be. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Oh, wow.